Beautiful. Comfortable seated position. Stretch up the spine. And then slowly allow yourself to relax down in and take note of all the muscles that hold your posture. Sitting upright. Take note of the pressure where you're sitting, however you're sitting, your butt on your cushion or your chair. Take note of where your hands are touching your body or whatever they're resting against. Take note of where your feet touch the ground or are crossed up. Wherever your feet may be, take note of the sensations there. Take note of the temperature of your environment on your body, your skin. Take note of the sensation of your clothes on your skin. Become aware of your heartbeat in your body, your pulse, if you will. Take note of the physical sensation of breathing, the expansion and contraction, abdomen, lungs, chest. These are all physical body sensations, along with anything else you feel in your body, pressure, heat, tingling, an itch, you might feel a vibration. Any physical changing sensation, take a moment and feel the entire body and allow your attention to go wherever it goes within your body. Notice if you get an urge to move or even if you don't catch yourself and you move, see if you can think to where that sensation came from. 
we have an urge to move, it's always because something might have been a little bit uncomfortable in some way, or there was a sensation somewhere that caused us to try and shift our posture in some way. Now sticking with somatic sensation, body sensation. What emotion are you experiencing currently, if any? If you were to describe your emotional state right now, search your body for what sensations would make you get offer that description. Your emotional body space. There may be familiar emotions that you could evoke and you know how you experience them every time, where they manifest. Spend a little bit of time and investigate your emotional body space. Even if nothing's arising. feel like those physical sensations as well. It's just coming with the tag of this lets me know that I feel this way. It could even be tears in your eyes if you feel sad or a lump in your throat if you feel sad or grief or angry, churning in your stomach or maybe just a lightness in your body if you feel joy or happiness. Could be tension anywhere in your hands, shoulders, neck. You may be holding yourself, bracing. Any of these are emotional body sensations. And if this seems difficult or it's tricky to find an area, just move through as a body scan or as in taking chunks of your body, your head, your arms, shoulder, and just be curious. Our questions of meditation are just for investigation. They're not always for answers. Just be curious and open to whatever new experience you might receive. As with physical outward sensations and emotional inward sensations, they can all change very rapidly. It's 
great. Now, bring your attention to the sensory input of hearing outward. Just begin by taking note of any noises you hear in your room right near you. Our voice, our audio, maybe you have a fan. Just pay attention to any sound you hear and the nature of it very, very curiously. No labels, just listening. See if you can be open to whatever experience could possibly be new. Like, what does a glass of water sound like if you have one near you? Listen to it. Just be as open, as curious as possible to hear whatever might be there. Like we're vigilantly watching a mouse hole for anything to come out in that entire sound space around us. What's the next sound? When that sound arises, can you note the beginning of it and the end of it and the space between it? Silence is also an aspect of sound. Maybe even hearing the pauses between our words or the changes of frequencies of whatever it is that you hear in the environment around you. Sound has a very interesting quality of seemingly arising from nowhere and disappearing into nowhere. Or coming from everything and disappearing back into everything. If there are many sounds going on, just see if you can hear the beginning, the change, and the end of even one of them. You don't always have to catch everything that's going on, that's not the point. It's just to stay concentrated in this particular focused realm, whatever it is. And for now, it's hearing out the sound space around us. As long as we're noticing things there, again with equanimity, no judgment, not needing to change it, just allowing it to come and go exactly as it's going to, or stay a while, whatever might happen. And if we notice ourselves thinking about what a sound was, just come back to simply hearing.
Great. Then we're going to shift our focus of attention to our here in our mental talk space. Investigate for a second where you hear your internal dialogue. Perhaps you could say a few things to yourself in your mind to get started and get a picture of where it is that you're observing your internal monologue. And then again, like a mouse or like a cat in front of a mouse hole, I'm just going to sit there and wait for the next thought to arise. And we're not going to engage with it. We're not going to hop on with it. We're not going to run away with it. We're going to wait for it to come up, observe it. Not interested in the content. Wait for the next one to come up. And you could be hearing anything. You could be hearing memories. You could be thinking about the past. You could have a novel. You could have poetry. It could be anything. Really, the point is just to focus on the space where that hearing happens within you. And if there's no mental talk, just observe silence, similarly watching that hole until something pops up. And if we notice that we get caught on a th train of thought, just bring your attention back to observing that mental talk space and any thoughts that arise. mental thoughts. It may be helpful to just pick one of them and in a neutral, very slow voice, repeat that thought back to yourself and focus on those words that are showing up in your mental talk space. miss a multitude of thoughts go by but just grab one repeat it back in its entirety slowly this can really help mellow out the talk space it can also help in times of panic or high stress or really big emotions is to slow everything down. Always use a neutral voice and just try and be focused and present. caught up in thought. We're just observing the thoughts as they come.
if you can really observe your ability to simply observe your thoughts and not run away with them, it's a great first level of non-self-identification with your thought. If there's some part of you that's able to observe your thought and not run away with it, you can rest easy that you're not your thoughts. And this is hearing in to our mental talk space. It's great. We're going to shift our awareness to seeing out. And you can just begin by bringing your awareness to what it is behind your eyelids. You may have total darkness or some combination of white and black. Settle in there. And then open your eyes like 10%. Just a crack. You might have to blink them a few times to stabilize. And with your crack, allow your peripheral vision to really be an equal proportion of all of it. Don't focus down on any singular object. Just take them all in right where you are with a soft 10% gaze and real emphasis on your peripheral. And see if you can just see mind will be prepared to offer you an explanation of what you're seeing. We're going to disengage with that. And just see. Total curiosity. Shapes, colors. to be curious and unexpected. Maybe there's a change of shape in the corner of your eye. Shadows and clouds are perfect for this. Just allow everything to be like shadows and clouds, as receptive as you would be to just experiencing them exactly as they are, without trying to make up anything about them or put a label or name to them. It's a real practice to simply see and not try and cognize, conceptualize what you're seeing. And in the beginning, you'll notice a lot of yourself trying to do that. Just notice it and go back to seeing, just seeing. In this closed down state, your vision might be blurry. The objects might not stabilize. Just things to be aware of and take note of. feels difficult or hard, again, just allow that to be okay, just the way that it is. We're here to play, we're here to investigate, to be curious, to inquire. We're not actually here to be good at anything or know anything.
just take note of what takes you away from your object of meditation. What other sensory input is drawing you away from simply seeing right now as you notice that you've started doing something other than just seeing? Great. We're going to drop that. Close your eyes again. I'm going to take note of our internal visual field, our mental image space. And maybe to get us warmed up, conjure up an image of your immediate surroundings. From memory, you know where you are. Just conjure up the room that you're in, in your mental image space. Conjure up an image of yourself sitting in that space. Kind of priming the pump. That's your mental image space where you see those things. And we're simply going to observe that for quite some time and allow whatever comes up there to come up. And everybody sees mental images a little bit differently. They might seem like ghosts or outlines. They might be wispy. They may be very clear. And depending on the particular image or our particular state, they might almost even appear somewhere different than where we think our mental image space is, where the screen is that we watch these images. Just allow those experiences to be everything that they are. It doesn't have to be exactly like a movie. Sometimes images may be still or sometimes they may be moving. Just allow the image to be whatever an image is for you in your mental image space. Anything can pop up. Memories from the day, Mandalas, cartoons, faces. Maybe even just shapes and light. Again, try to not to label anything or make up stories about what's there. We're just observing it, allowing it to be, and then watching and waiting. When there is nothing, we could label that as rest. Just observe mental image space rest. And again, being vigilant to watch and see that space of whatever else might pop up. And if another sensory input either from our internal or external environments, try to take our attention away and just bring it back slowly and gently, noticing is our opportunity to exercise that muscle of attention and concentration. I'm grateful for the opportunity to bring our attention back and to observe.
then if your mind wanders, bring it back to focusing on mental image space. Great. Take a little time and do nothing. Allow your attention to go wherever it goes. And just stay aware of where awareness goes. We just went through every possibility. Just track your awareness and allow it to wander wherever it goes. Again, the idea is to be curious with whatever brings your attention there. Let go of labels and stories as to what it is. Just notice it, observe it, be curious about what that full experience of that thing might be. And then go back to doing nothing and wait for the next thing. We can always note a silence in our focus area to be rest. As you see fit, move it any way you might need to to reorient yourself in your space. Open your eyes. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. It's always helpful to look around your space again to reorient after having some times with your eyes closed.